Kevin Mayo, the Amazing Beer Drinking Man, and today we're drinking Narragansett Porter. Now, if you remember, I did the Narragansett Lager a while back, and it was the beer I was brought up on. My father drank Narragansett all the time I was drinking up. I am sure that's the first beer I ever drank. I can't guarantee it, but I'm sure that's the first beer I ever drank. And um, Narragansett was out of business for a while in the late 70s, I mean mid 80s, they went belly up, and somebody bought the brand and bought the um, brought the recipe. They brought the recipe back, and they started brewing Narragansett Lager again. And it's a pretty decent American adjunct lager, um, and it's not that expensive. So that when you factor the price in, it's actually a really nice beer. But uh, this is uh, their porter. They do some seasonals. They've got a Bach. They've got a summer ale. I think there's one other seasonal I'm missing, and they just got a little thing on the back here. And it says, Hi Neighbor, which was their tagline. We've been brewing our supremely drinkable American porter since 1916. Whether you call it Gansett Dark, like some old New Englanders, or just plain porter, you'll love this mild, deliciously nuanced brew. I don't remember them brewing a dark. They say they did back in the day. I don't remember ever seeing it. But we're going to go ahead and give this a crack and going to give it a try. Now, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. Leave some comments. We'll always respond to the comments. Don't need our opener today. We got a can. Well, it definitely looks like a porter. Now, the lagers come in 12 ounce bottles, but they're seasonals. They only do in 16 ounce cans. We got quite a head on it, and it's a big, thick, foamy head. It looks like a milkshake. It's quite dark. It's pitch black. I can't even get the. I can just barely get the big light to penetrate it. Like I said, nice two to three finger head on it. Let's go ahead and do the aroma test. A little, almost like a vanilla cream to it. I'm tasting the roasted malt, the, that coffee, almost a little bit of a coffee aroma. Yeah, like I said, almost like a vanilla, like a sweet vanilla. Actually, more going on in the flavor than I would have expected. Not that um, I expect this to be bad or anything, I'm just... Assuming it's not going to be as complex as some other craft beers. They do, um, should have backtracked a little bit. They do contract brew this now. And for the seasonals, like this one is brewed for just two small little breweries. A little brew pub in Providence that I don't know. And a place called Cottrell Brewery down in Pocketuck, Connecticut. Which is just a small brewery. I tried to do their tour last year. I called three or four times. Couldn't even get through. They weren't even there to answer it. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Oh, that's good. That's very good. You get that roasted malt, that chocolate malt right up front. That's the first thing that you taste. And it's a nice, nice malt feel. Nice. It's not thick and heavy, but it, it's creamy like I like that porters and stouts to be. A little bit of bitter in the aftertaste. Not much. Less so than some other ones. Now, there's a little bit of, I'm getting a, a kick of bitter in the aftertaste, the, that black coffee bitter that you get on a, a, on a porter. Yeah, this is very drinkable. This is a nice, nice little porter. 7.0% ABV. So it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Yep, so a roasted malt, chocolate malt up front, and that, and it's just a hint of that, when I was talking about that vanilla or whatever, there's just a hint of a little bit of sweetness in there, and then you get the typical black coffee aftertaste in it. It's a, it's a nice porter. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to come down on a rating on this. 
I tell you what, it was this or the Guinness Extra Stout I had the other day. It would definitely be drink. I would be drinking this one. I'm thinking four. Four caps out of six. Nice porter. If you can get it, I would give it a try. I, it's not, you know, it's not an over-the-top, super complex imperial stout where you're tasting all kinds of dark fruits and raisins, but it's very drinkable. It's a good porter. It's good. I think it's true to the brew, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with it. Until next time. This is Kevin Mayo, the Amazing Beer Drinking Man.